to Church Everywhere. I'm Nathan. And I'm Marty. Nathan, where did you get the candy from? Oh, it's awesome. Someone sent us a letter thanking us for the Church Everywhere videos and said we should have some candy. That is really awesome and really kind. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're supposed to split it and let's see. Here's your share. There you go. Uh, Nathan, you gave me one piece and it's a Milky Way. I don't even like these. Yeah, but hold on a second. I know what the letter said and it, it said, here's some candy for you and Marty to share. And that's your share. So I think we're good. I kind of feel like that's probably not what they meant. Really? Yeah, I mean, they probably meant share like 50-50 or maybe even eat some and share with other people. So probably not one for you and the rest for me? Probably not. <laughs> All right, you're right. I got a little turned around and I got a little greedy. I'm sorry. You know, isn't it easy sometimes to lose perspective? You know, unfortunately, I, I think it is. This whole thing actually reminds me a little of this scene from the movie, The Lorax. Oh. I, I think we should check it out. Give me a reason, shorty. Hey, you broke your promise. You're better than this. You gotta stop. This is bad. Have a nice day. Bad? I'm not bad. I'm the good guy here. He just doesn't get it. Do you think I'm bad? Thank you. I mean, something good finally happens to me, and he just has to come along and rain on my parade. What's his problem? See? Yeah, bad. Right. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? I'm just following my destiny. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? How bad can I possibly be? Well, there's a principle in nature, principle in nature. that almost every creature knows. Called survival of the fittest. And check it, this is how it goes. The animal that wins got to scratch and fight and claw and bite and punch. And the animal that doesn't, well, the animal that doesn't winds up. Someone else is a la 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 lunch. I'm just saying, how bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? I'm just following my destiny. How bad can I be? I'm just doing what comes naturally. How bad can I be? How bad can I possibly be? There's a principle in business, principle in business. that everybody knows is sound. It says the people with the money, people with the money. make this ever-loving world go round. So I'm bigger in my company, I'm bigger in my factory, I'm bigger in my corporate sign. Everybody out there, you take care of yours. I'll take care of mine, 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 mine. Shake that bottom line. Let me hear you say, smoke your little smoke. Shlop it, shlop. You want it's never ever 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 gonna stop. No! Come on, how bad can it possibly be? How bad can I be? I'm just building the economy. How bad can I be? Just look at me petting this puppy. How bad can I be? A portion of proceeds goes to charity. How bad can I be? How bad could I possibly be? Let's see. All the customers are buying And the money's multiplying And the PR people are lying And the lawyers are denying Who cares if our few trees are dying? This is all so gratifying How bad! So is that really the question, how bad can you be? Yeah, and it's a funny one because that question is also the answer. See, the more you make decisions based on how bad you can be, the worse you become. Just like we saw in that clip. He kept grabbing more and more and ended up doing worse and worse things. And he did that because when it comes to greed, having more is never enough. If it was, people would stop at just a little bit of greed. But I think we all know that's not how it works. 
See, when we're the ones just looking out for ourselves, always trying to get ahead, we're actually moving further and further away from anything that can really satisfy us. When we're on the lookout just for ourselves, which is what greed is really, letting your selfish desires run amok, we end up more and more alone, unfulfilled. All the things we try to hoard when it comes to greed, none of them can actually really satisfy us. All that extra candy I was holding on to, it wasn't going to make me happier. In fact, every one of those pieces would have just been another wedge driven between me and my friend. And that's the craziest thing about greed, right? We know we don't have enough of something, even if we're not entirely sure what we're missing. So we look around for whatever we can get more of, even if we've got to cheat someone to make it happen not realizing that what we're really missing isn't something we can actually give ourselves. It, you know, it's like what Jesus said. Don't hoard treasure down here where it can get eaten by moths, corroded by rust, or worse, stolen by burglars. Stockpile treasure in heaven where it's safe from moths and rust and burglars. It's obvious, isn't it? The place where your treasure is, is a place you will most want to be and end up being. So the truth is, we're built to be in relationship with others. We were built to love each other in community. Which means we weren't built to gather things for ourselves. In fact, it's just the opposite. We were built to give ourselves away for others. Just like Jesus gave himself away for us. Remember, you're not just watching online. You're the Everywhere Church, and you're not in this alone. If you need help knowing how to love freely and give yourself away, or how to form the church, you can email me or Nathan. Connect with us if you need support and we'll see you again soon for another episode.